Hey guys, Mr. P here. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Hope you guys are well. And this video is a build guide. And today's build will be the Heavy Gunner Power Armor build. If you guys are loving the content and you want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. It will really help out the channel. And let's get on with the video. Okay, first of all, you want to get yourself a set of Power Armor. I use the Ultra Sight set with the Vanguard perk equipped on each of my pieces this will give me a plus 35 energy and damage resistance the higher my health is and going over the mods for the helmet i use the targeting hud for the helmet i use the calibrated shocks for the left and right leg which overall boosts my carry weight by 100 for the uh, left and right arm i would re recommend the optimized braces which does increase your action point refresh speed, which is very handy. And then for your chest, you could either use a jetpack, but I'd recommend the emergency protocols, which you will get a 25% uh, movement speed and also a 50% damage reduction. This is when you're below 20% health, so it sort of gets you out of them um, sticky situations. I would highly recommend doing the uh, Brotherhood of Steel mission quest line just so you can unlock the crafting station for the power armor and you also get this Hellcat uh, set for free at the end of it as well which is pretty decent as well it's actually really not a bad armor set at all this is how my special looks I've got 11 points into strength one in perception one in endurance six in charisma 15 in intelligence 10 in agility and 12 in luck now onto the perks, I use the Travelling Pharmacy just so all my chemical stim packs and everything are reduced by 60%. I use the Master Heavy and Expert Heavy Gunner perks just for that plus 60% damage. Uh, the Blocker, so if any enemies come right up to me, I'm even more of a tank. On Perception, I use the Green Thumb. Uh, you can choose what you want, you could use Glow Sight. You could use uh, the Exterminator. This one is really up to you guys what you want to use. I use the green thumb just so I can pick more flowers on if I'm out and about in the wasteland. Can use Concentrated Fire if you are turning this into a VATS build also. I, under Endurance I use Fireproof just for that 45% damage resistant to fire attacks. Which the Scor Scorch Beast Queen actually has so it's good against her. Under Charisma inspirational because I was playing a team but if you are playing on your own you can always use Lone Wanderer and Tenderizer so my target receives even more damage this is a, a must-have perk I'd say now power user is good I go through quite a lot of fusion cores I do have a video on how to get a ton more fusion cores I'll link that video at the top for you stabilize because you ignore the targets armor gunsmith because I've always found my gun breaks quite often without it so I'll definitely I mean, it's more of a quality of life perk. You don't have to use it, but I'll throw it in there anyway. Uh, batteries included. It's another quality of life one. Energy weapon, ammo weighs less. All power parts weigh less as well. These are not necessary. I've got the legendary perks in special, so I get more perks, I suppose. Uh, power patcher also is not necessary. Now if you are running a weapon that does have the explosive perk on it, you're definitely going to want the Demolitions Expert. This does so much more damage, so this is one that's definitely needed if you are running an explosive weapon. Action Boy is nice because you regenerate 45% faster of your AP. Born Survivor, I always forget to look at my health when I'm fighting someone. I very rarely go down the bottom, but just in case. Uh, this automatically gives me a stim pack. And Adrenaline is another must have, it increases your damage uh, every time you get a kill, so I've got mine to level 3. Uh, dodgy, this makes you even more of a tank. At the cost of your action points you can avoid 30% of incoming damage. Bloody Mess is another must have, that's even more damage output as well, another 15% bonus damage. One Gun Army is another one also, should definitely have this. Ricochet is a good one to have for the tankiness. You, I don't know, I'll show you a showcase at the end and you see all the ricochet goes off. Class Freak and Starts Jeans are also must have, I'd say. Probably not so much Class Freak, definitely more Starts Jeans, but Class Freak 
um, negates the negation of the mutations, and obviously starts genes, you keep them. Onto the legendary perk cards, I have a agility, intelligence, strength, endurance, and luck, so I can get them extra perks, and I also have the ammo factory, so I can craft loads and loads more ammo. Other ones you could have is the electric absorption, so this does charge your power armor fusion core and restore health. That'll probably be my next one that I level up. But because I go through so much ammo with other builds, I just have the ammo factory as well. And then you, there's a quite a few um, other power armor ones you can have. You could have power armor reboot, power sprint. I mean, these aren't really that beneficial. I'd say the more beneficial ones are definitely the um, damage resistant ones to make you even more tanky. I mean, you could be a super, super tank. Now, bird bones and marsupial, I'll definitely recommend from the serums. I do like speed demon as well. That's quite nice for the extra speed, but you do have to drink and eat more. But you also get a quicker reload, which is nice, especially when you reload some of the heavy weapons. Okay, now on to guns. A uh, good start gun is actually the final word, which you can get at the end of the Beckett's ally quest line. It actually comes with a really decent roll. It can also 50% of your target's armor, and it's got the first to fire rate as well. And also the damage resistance make you more tanky when you are reloading. But you can just roll a normal fifth of caliber. Um, I have the bullets explode and another perk on here. I mean, this isn't a very good roll, but I still use it. It works for me. Anti-armor is another good perk. I have this on my Prime Gatlin laser. I mean, this isn't the best roll either, but it works for me also. And then obviously my main is the explosive Prime Gatlin laser, which is a legacy now, so any of you new players won't be able to get your hands on this unless you buy it or trade it. Okay, now I'm just going to showcase the build with some of the guns I showed you. So just sit back and enjoy. That is it for today's video guys, if you like what you see and you would like to see more please hit that like and subscribe button, it will really really help out the channel. We are closed in on that 1000 subscriber benchmark and I appreciate all you guys for the support. So until next time you guys take care and have a fantastic week.